Today I'm going to take this cedar log that was given to me from a lady that she didn't want to see it get cut up and go to the landfill, so she said, called me up and asked me if I wanted it. Uh, it's a perfect log, it has a few knots, but that adds a little character to the wood. I'm going to saw it up, make a four by four post out of it to build another pergola in front of my house to keep my wife happy. And um, the wood actually has a lot of character, it has divots in it, has knots. It's a good eight inches around in the front, which is about perfect. Ten inches probably in the back. Um, let's fire the mill up and see if we can't get it going. and we put them on the sawmill. We saw them in the boards. After we get them in the boards, we bring them here in the barn and we stick them and stack them and roll them up off the ground. You want to have a good airflow in between them, so we put the stickers in between them. Keep the stickers as close to the edge of the boards as you can so that when they crack, they'll only go to that board and stop. Um, that lets airflow go through them and helps them dry a whole lot quicker. Once you get them stickered and stacked and put up here, it's always good to come back and paint the end of the boards. That way that keeps the moisture inside the board stuff out here on the end where it won't crack all the way through. We put them underneath the building so they're not sitting out in the weather. They won't, uh, they won't weather so bad or rot. And uh, The airflow through the barn really helps them dry, plus it holds heat in here too.